Hey both roads, it's Avana Paula here and today I am going to be sharing with you guys my 2021 year goals and my professional makeup look that I do for dental interviews and that was actually requested by one of my mentors and friends. So let's get right into Outside it. Outside of uh, my skincare routine that I do in the morning, which is using Cetaphil, um, then going in with vitamin C and then moisturizer um, that's what I do in the morning and then after I wear my makeup I use also a oil cleanser um, if you guys want a update on my skincare routine I can definitely show you guys that as well so let's get right in so first thing I do is I go in with my hangover primer okay and I'm going to also be talking um, about my goals here so if you want to know the direction of the Brofo Queens channel, where I'll be going, then please stay tuned. So I do, I try to do two pumps, and then I just put it all over my face. And you know, I have a lot of real estate on my forehead, so I gotta make sure. But my pimples mainly are no longer on my forehead as they used to be during the summer. Um, they're mainly on my cheeks now and my chin so I feel that that's more hormonal than anything else so after putting on my primer I then basically damp my beauty blenders um, and I mainly like to use my beauty blenders to actually um, apply makeup or apply anything onto my face and I usually use two, one for my concealer and one for my actual makeup. And then after that, I go in with Anastasia's setting uh, powder. And I put that on my face before I actually wear any makeup. And the reason why I do this is basically to help the makeup last longer. After I put on the Anastasia, I then put on my NARS makeup and then I use Juvia's Place concealer. Um, I have it in number seven. Yeah, in number seven. And I put it in the inner corners of my eye. And then on, I contour my nose, a little bit of my chin. And then after that, I use Juvia's eyeshadows palette. Yes, the eyeshadow palette to actually contour. I usually use this for my cheek to give a contrast. And then I use this for my eyebrows. I feel that once you learn the chemistry and the chemicals that go into doing makeup, that it is actually quite easy to realize that most of the products are the same. I am really cost effective, so I just use products that I know will still give me the same look without spending so much. If I feel that I really need something, like for instance, the translucent powder that I got from Anastasia, then I'll, I'll buy that. And that'll be an investment probably once a year. I don't really try to buy a lot of makeup because I feel like I've already spent a lot over my journey of le learning what looks good on my face. So outside of those, that's basically what I do. And I'll spend the rest of this video basically telling you guys what I'm really hopeful for for the next year and what I've been up to. So as you may know, I am actually here in Maryland with my sister. And it's been really nice to kind of just um, be with family. I also got to see literally all my sisters for the first time in, I feel like it's been four years. Um, even for my graduation, I didn't get to see them all at once. Um, but this was time I got to see them all at once and um, that was such a blessing especially for me as you guys may or may not know I'm undocumented and I'm a DACA student and so any moment I can be with my family I feel like um, that I really cherish that um, so we what did we do so <laughs> we basically took care of kids because all of my sisters basically have kids and I'm actually really surprised that my my nephew right now is not making a whole lot of noise because that's every that's all he was doing before this video yeah so one thing I really hope to do in the following years is continue to stay connected to my sisters not that I, I haven't but we have so many we have new goals now. Um, we all want to do better for this channel and for our page. I believe that we'll be having more videos consistently because we have another person who's editing videos outside of me. <laughs> I am happy about that because I spend honestly six hours on a 24, 30 minute video 
and then my sister would come up and be like I don't like this I don't like that and I'm like you know what this time you can do it <laughs> and that's something that's really exciting for me I am still waiting for dental school acceptances and I say acceptances um, because I have faith that God really will has been giving me hints that he wants me to go to dental school so this is the time um, so I am using this time to really just stay in prayer and prepare my spirit and prepare my mind for the next phase and to really figure out um, just what I need to be doing in this season to better prepare myself for next year as a dental student um, and how to really best plan. So that's exciting stuff for me. I've really been trying not to buy a planner. <laughs> I know like that sounds really ridiculous to some people like of course you need a planner if you're going into dental school or you know just starting off the new year but if 2020 has taught us anything I have not used my planner this year not to say that next year I won't um but I feel like I didn't get to use my 2020 planners at all so I will be repurposing them and um because the reason why I say this is that I've bought two planners so far that each cost $50 and I know that sounds ridiculous to people but like um, most planners cost um, what $24 or $25 but I'm I don't want to say I'm bougie but I, I'm really I love journals I love bullet journaling I love planners and so I spend quite a bit of money on just having that I am really looking forward to trying to seem that I've taken two years in my life for my gap year. I really wanna not just get into the mode of practicing for exams, but I really want to just take my entire time and dedicate it towards something that I really believe in and a career that I've always been dreaming to be in. Um, so that's kind of where my head is at right now. And not only discipline in just academics, I'm hoping to have discipline even in my weight loss goals um not that i've had such a bad time with managing my weight but i have not been consistent for more than a month um on my financial goals so i'll start i'll do it for a month and then i'll be gone you won't find me you won't find me even trying to think about my weight um at all and i have to think about why that is and so i've downloaded the app called noom to really help me psychologically figure out why I do that. <laughs> so um, that's been another thing that I've been really focused on, is just trying to figure out where my mind is at with all these things I have. I make lists and lists and plans and plans, and then I leave them there. <laughs> and one thing I've learned from Fruit Basket, actually, um, if you guys know I'm an anime nerd, um, is just to do the work that's in front of you. And so for me, even being here with my sisters, I just work on them, if that makes sense. Like I basically work on developing our relationship and making sure that we are really solid. I don't think I mentioned this, but this is Juvia's I Am Magic setting, pow setting powder in Gobi. And I use this for every, every other place I've contoured. We've also like discussed what our goals and dreams are outside of just like taking care of children which has been really nice or even our goals with having children as well because I love my nephews and nieces oh my gosh they're adorable I wish I could show you guys to them actually you guys probably will see them I think we have like a baby shark birthday party coming up that I will be sharing with you all um, uh, working on with my friends it's just interesting sometimes how I realize some of the issues even with my sister's friends some of the issues that they have I feel like many people don't look at the big picture and I think that's what 2020 has really done for me is helping me look at the big picture of what's really important to me not important to someone else but it should be important to you because the bigger picture is that that they are alive and you have this moment with them and so any other um, issue that I feel that is very workable or any disagreements I feel like you know just takes a little bit of um, transparency just honesty really then do that and don't delay in doing that I think one of the saddest things that can happen with anyone is that you don't get to tell someone 
um, how you really feel about a situation until it's too late. And I don't even mean that in death. I mean like that in a way where someone just doesn't even want to talk to you anymore because you've waited so long to share or to open. And some people just may take that as a sign of, you know, like they must not care enough. They must not care. So yeah, I just don't want to get ever be in that space base so I don't my 2021 goals in regards to friendship is obviously to keep the ones I have but also make room for others um, especially going into dental school I during my gap years I've only made one friend um, and I think it, even that one friend that I've made it's been really hard to um, open up with them because it's like I'm not who I was in college I am I'm a whole graduate <laughs> and the issues that I've had with people, I will not be repeating them. And so for me, that's guarding my heart. Um, for others, it just looks like, girl, you just don't want to talk to me about this issue or I just nip it in the bud. Um, I think that's how they feel. I also use, <laughs> I'm literally using these eyeshadow palettes for everything, but I also use these uh, Juvia's Place. This purple color right here is my favorite. It looks really great on dark skin. Just take a little bit, knock it off, <laughs> and just add a little bit right there. And I blend that out as well. <laughs> This side is looking a little bit too much, but what you're, what I'm aiming for is this. Barely see it, it looks warm. It looks not festive, but you know, it looks decent. And that's what I go for. Oh my gosh, I saw this TikTok trend where they like also add blush to their nose. I'm, I will try it off camera, but that's not what we're going for today. I think I'm really done, except for my eyebrows. You're probably like, she didn't do anything to her eyebrows or her eyes. Correct, I haven't. <laughs> okay, so outside of discipline, one thing I'll be looking forward to in 2021, this is NYX Butter Gloss in the color, I don't even know. I have to ask my friend. Like this? Okay. Un poquito, nothing serious, nothing major, just right there, okay? This color is NK Makeup Auto Lip. I got it at the hair supply for $149. 149 a whole bargain oh i really want to get serious um about saving this year you no know, it's a pandemic <laughs> so i haven't been able to save as much as i usually have um and that's because this hit the fan for everyone well i can't say everyone the rich have been just been thriving in this in this pandemic i basically spent a lot of money on investing into my career as a dentist so I haven't been able to save as much and so now I now that it's the start of the year I am being so intentional about it I've made a whole budget for myself and I look forward to also doing that so I add water to my brush here and I go in and just create a kind of like a paste and then I comb out my brows like this okay um, sometimes I tweeze them right now. This is not the tweezing time because where where am I even going with this look? <laughs> TikTok is where I'll be. Please follow me at powerful on TikTok. Paint my eyebrows on. I go under it with concealer. It's been really helpful for me, especially when I don't tweeze my eyebrows, just to give it a natural shape. So I take a line brush and then I underline my eyebrows. I then I leave it like this and then I do my eyeshadows. So for my eyeshadow, especially when I'm doing interviews, I go in with this darker color here on the face of my eye and then I go in with this lighter color here either this one or these two and then I do the inner corner so I would really love to know in the comments what you guys are really hoping for changes outside of you know the pandemic being over I can't say I am excited as much I, I don't think my hopes are as high as I would regularly for a new year um, just cuz May God forbid we're still not in this pandemic, you know? <laughs> but, um, you know, I just, I think I'm really humble now and more realistic with my goals than anything. I feel that I also do not have such large goals that I feel like are unattainable. I feel like I've created a plan, I've created a budget, and that's all I can do. I leave the rest in God's hands and keep it pushing. Would love to hear what you guys are really expecting for the new year. 
do you guys want to continue staying indoors are you guys tired of it would you guys be adversely affected or tired or upset if we went back into quarantine i know california is and i'm here in maryland and i'm really scared at the numbers um yeah i don't know i hope you guys are all doing well and are really healthy and safe um so many people have passed that i know about that i'm no longer playing with the rules for quarantine okay after this i basically i take my concealer brush and just lightly brush out like i kind of really tap it if you really think about it i tap around the edges of where i put the concealer but just also blending it out and the last thing i do is mascara so if you are into lashes i would recommend doing so but for interviews and professional days i don't think i would do lashes but i hope you guys enjoyed this 2020 reflection with me and happy holidays and merry christmas and keep your new year's resolutions close to heart have a good one both roads bye